Hello, and welcome to Realusion Hints and Tips. iClone lighting features and techniques. Getting familiar with the default light settings, custom light animation, and light simulation. Lighting is an extremely important aspect of any iClone project. Without proper lighting, an otherwise highly detailed scene can turn out less than perfect. Scenes without proper lighting can overlook the power and versatility of the lighting system found in iClone. In iClone projects, there are four lights in a scene that have editable color, ambience, and shadow features, as well as the ability to animate. In this tutorial, we focus on the default lights, their attributes, and how to access them, custom line animation, and how to set keyframes to create and save your own animated lights, and finally how to simulate a cone light using a 3D block prop along with opacity glow maps. You can download a Word document to follow along step by step from realillusion.com as well for this tutorial and any other. Default lights and how to make them best work for you. Step number one. Load any official Realillusion iClone character and 3D scene. Then access the default lights by going to scene, light, template, and this will display the 12 default options. These options include natural lights, colored lights, animated, and dynamic lights. You will load and review one light from each type of the default lighting situations to gain a better understanding of what iClone has to offer for instant lighting solutions. Step number two. The first four lights are the default, light 01, light 02, and light 03. These lights are all white and gray based lighting situations with low ambient light settings only to cast shadows from a single light source. Select light 03 and review the difference between the shadow quality and the light cast against the terrain. Add a motion to your character and then use the play pause button to review the change in scene ambience and shading. Step number three. To change the ambience levels to make the ambient light lighter or darker you need only to go to the light modify tab and then under the light control section use the ambient light slider to set the level that suits your scene. Step number four click on the template tab and then locate the next group of lights light four, light five, and light six. These lights all share colored lights as their common attribute. Double click on light 04 to activate a darker lighting situation. These four lights are based on a blue color palette giving the illusion of a darker, cooler atmosphere. Step number five, use the modify tab to further edit the night or dark lighting effect. Two additional ways to achieve this is to turn off the lights using the check boxes. Locate light numbers two and four and uncheck the check boxes. This will turn off the lights and decrease the overall amount of light in scene. The second way is to turn the ambience all the way down to zero to create a silhouette effect. Step number six under the template tab you now should focus on the final type of default lighting labeled as light dynamic 01, light dynamic 02, light dynamic 03, light dynamic 04, and light dynamic 05. These default lights include modified attributes of color and intensity as well as animation, giving them their dynamic qualities. Double click on light underscore dynamic 03. Again, use the play pause button to further review the default lights in the custom playback. Step number seven, to see exactly how this multicolored animated light is pieced together, go to the Modify tab and then use the Timeline button found under the Animation setting portion of the menu and click on it. Take the time to notice that the colors for each individual keyframe is different by using the scrub bar on the timeline to review the default animation or animated light. Custom animated lights and using the color menu. Step number eight. To create custom keyframe animation for your lights, it's best to begin with the default light setting activated. Click on the template tab once again and double click on the default light, which would be the very first light in the set. 
Notice that this will revert the light in the scene to its original status, as well as clear the timeline. Step number nine. To set new keyframes with custom color settings, creating an animated fade from one color to another, you need to return to the Modify tab, and then find the Animation Setting section. You will see two bullet points, one for still light and one for animated light. Check on the animated light bullet point, and be sure to check on the edit key box as well. Select the timeline button to reopen the light track and notice that frame one already has a keyframe set. Step number 10, highlight the keyframe and then be sure to check on all four lights. Again, click the first color swatch and set the four lights to correspond with the four pink and purple hues found on the far right side of the color menu. Click OK after each selection. Setting the ambient light to 10 as well. This will give the scene a purple and pink tint to the color of the light. This will dissolve from a purplish pink tint to a red light. Step number 11. In the current frame field, enter a value of 300 to move to the middle of the project. Then, repeat the process of changing the colors of all four lights to a red and brown color scheme. Using the four hues on the far left of the color menu is the quickest way to achieve this warm light setting. Now you have created your first custom light animation using edited keyframes. Click the play pause button after returning to the beginning of the scene to review the further changes between frames 1 and 300. Step number 12. An easy way to create additional light animation from scratch is simply to use the same color for all four lights with them checked on. First, enter a value of 600 into the current field frame to move to the end of the project. Then, set all four lights to a yellow color. Then click OK. This will cast a very distinct hue to contrast from the original pink hue setting from frame 1. Click the play pause button to review the change in color between frames 1 and 600. Step number 13. To save your new custom animated light for use in other projects, go to the custom tab and locate the add button from the bottom. Then click add to place your new light into your custom library. Name your new light something descriptive like purple red, yellow. For future reference, creating lights with 3D blocks, diffuse, and opacity maps. Step number 14. Now to create a simulated light, you will need to utilize a 3D block from the props section, as well as its opacity and diffuse map properties. Cone underscore 001 will be used for this due to the natural shape of the ray of light. This will begin to develop a light look when both opacity and diffuse maps have been edited and only after a bit of additional shaping and positioning. Go to Props, Template, 3D Blocks, and then scroll down until you find Cone underscore 001. Double click to activate. Step number 15. To edit the object's opacity and diffuse maps, you will need to first click the Modify tab and then scroll down under the Generate UV and Map setting portion of the menu 
you will see five editable map sections. Select the launch button directly under diffuse to open the diffuse template and then select the launch button directly under opacity to open the opacity map template. Step number 16. Once you're in your external image editor, you need to cover the diffuse template with a color you wish to use for light. In this case, yellow. Then set up your opacity template with the circle at the top left filled with solid gray and a white to black gradient fade, top to bottom. Use whatever means works best for you to accomplish this, then prepare to save them both as JPEG files. Step number 17. Go to File save as to select a placement for the newly edited files to be saved and then name the files something to the effect of iClone prop cone opacity or iClone prop cone underscore diffuse be sure to select the JPEG file format and then select save and okay. Step number 18. After saving, return to iClone and then locate the import diffuse icon as well as the import opacity folder icon. Click each one and navigate to the files selected and use open to apply. Step number 19. While still in the modify tab, scroll up and locate the adjust portion of the menu. In the move fields, enter the following values, 35, 170, and 50. Leave all the values in the rotate fields set to zero, and then enter a, a following scale, and then enter the following scale values into the scale fields, 255, 255, and 485. Note. These settings are for this example only. Your project may call for a different scale and position. Step number 20. To save your new custom cone light, all you need to do is click the custom tab at the top, then use the add button from the bottom of the menu to place this into your prop library. It's a good idea to name your file so you know what your prop's primary function is. iClone lights are a very powerful addition to any scene when the time is taken to edit them in some way to better fit the atmosphere or environment. Light is something that is so common to the average person that it is sometimes overlooked altogether and all too often left in the default settings. Realusion has made it simple for any director to have the power of four multifunctional lights and numerous props at their fingertips to enhance all of their virtual worlds created in the iClone real-time production environment. If you have any further questions please feel free to visit www.realusion.com or contact technical support.